Hey, what up, everybody? It's Real Mike Hayes. I just wanted to share this firearm with you guys. So, I just got it today. Six hour release this July, I think 28, 29, around there. And man, when I first saw it, I fell in love with it. And, um,. Let's just cut to the chase. This is the unboxing. This is the... This would be the first unboxing that... I don't even think nobody has ever unboxed this. Um, there is like maybe three videos of uh, YouTubers talking about it. Of course, uh, the person that designed this weapon... That's been using it for, I guess, the last three years and perfected it the way he wants it and um he also works for six hours his name is daniel horner and he's like he's won like more championships than anybody in the in the whole world and um yeah let me just unveil it let's just let's just once y'all dig into this y'all 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 find out this is a three gun this is a competition gun now, I'm not necessarily going to do any type of competition, but I just fell in love with the aesthetics. It's just amazing, this weapon, man. Without further ado, the Sig Sauer M400 DH3. Comes with a Magpul mag, five five six two two three. You also get a lock, and I got a fancy coin from Sig. Live free or die, custom works. You get booklets, of course. You always get some booklets. Stuff like that. Join the NRA, whatever, whatever. It's not important. All right, here we go. This thing is so insane. And it's chambered. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but this is 223 Wild. What 223 Wild means, it means that the rifle barreling in the inside, the rifle barrel, is um, so basically. It's not a different caliber. It just means that when you put a higher grain with more gunpowder, like the 5.56, five, it's going to shoot it like it's a 223 because 223 Remington is a sporting round. So basically, if you buy an AR. That's two, two, three. It can't shoot five, five, six. But when you buy a gun that's a, a AR that says five, five, six, two, two, three, yes, it does shoot both rounds. You can shoot them, but it won't be as precise. It won't go as far. It won't. You know what I mean? So this is what this is for. And um, so, look at the charging handle on this right here. Full ambi charging handle. Of course, it is unloaded. I just took it out the box now. 
has the flag in there. I'm going to remove the flag. This is awesome. So you have your ambi safety lever on this side. It also has that little storage compartment right here under the grip. The grip has that new Sig Sauer like sandpaper feel to it, which feels awesome. Also, this is your mag release. This is also a mag release. And then this lever right here is what they introduce now. So this lever is actually a bolt catch and a bolt release. So basically, uh, haven't done it yet. This is my first time doing it. So you pull it. You hold it up and it stays. You know what I mean? And it stays there. So then if you push it down, it releases it. And then they made the buttons for the for the bolt release bigger. Has a two-stage Timney trigger, flat face, and I bet the reset on this is insane. Let me show you on this side. So I'm gonna let it go. See that? That's crazy. Show you again. I love this. It's so light. This is about seven pounds. And then the handguard is like so thin that you could get like a like a good grip on it, like a good C clamp grip grip. You know what I mean? This is awesome. So you can see where they cut a lot of it off just to reduce a lot of the weight. I'm like so in love with this gun. It has like a little bit of a flare magwell for quick reloads. And uh, look at the way the, the buttstock is. Nice padding for your cheek well. Um, this pulls out. This goes up. You press this button right here. Yeah, but I am so, so in love with this gun. But um, I'm going to do a lot of things to this. A lot. Also, Ben, you watched my video from months ago. I had this, which I'm definitely going to attach to the front. I also have another, I'm debating whether I get Romeo and Juliet with the magnifier that flips over or should I get the LVPO, I don't know if I'm saying it correct, but it looks like a, it looks like a sniper scope, but it has the lever to magnify, which is the one in the actual video that he uses, but um. Yeah, just stay tuned. Like I said, I don't have any uh, Patreon. I don't. I don't do none of that. All these guns I buy with my own money. And when I get some more information, or I get to shoot it, and I could give y'all some feedback on this weapon, I'm, sh I'm gonna be sure to let you guys know. But yeah, the trigger is insanely phenomenal. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share. Share with your friends. And stay tuned. Thank you.